Hi, this is Pete Madsen for Acoustic Guitar, and I'm here to talk about my lesson on how to play The Entertainer, Scott Joplin's famous ragtime piece. Ragtime music was popular in America from the late 19th century through the early 20th century, and then it pretty much died out until a revival in the 1970s. I hearken back to the movie The Sting, where Marvin Hamlish played songs like Maple Leaf Rag and The Entertainer and you heard that on the soundtrack. Um, I tended to gravitate towards ragtime because I've been playing a lot of ragtime blues, early blues, and was looking for something a little bit more challenging, uh, longer pieces, I guess you would say. Classic ragtime often have multiple parts. Uh, the entertainer has four distinct sections, an A section, a B section, a C section, and a D section, plus a little intro. Um, so what I'd like to do is break down each section and show it to you individually and then you get to hear the whole thing played together. It's, uh, each theme kind of has a different flavor to it, but you can hear how the, uh, the different themes kind of uh, go from one to the other transition very nicely. Um, to start off with, um, like a lot of ragtime, uh, uh, the entertainer is in the key of C. But we start off with a little run um, starting on the D note. It's one of the most distinctive little descending melody lines you probably heard. And played an octave lower. And then again. Finish that off with a nice G chord. Um, and then we're into the first A section. Um, that's probably something you've heard a lot before, too. A lot of times when we hear ragtime music, we're more familiar with the first couple of sections, and that one I'm sure is very, you've either heard it before or heard someone play it possibly before on the piano. And this is always a challenging thing on guitar, is like, how do we transfer a piano piece to the guitar? Well, sometimes we have to uh, make compromises. and. Uh, they can't get all the fancy left hand stuff going on with the bass, but you um, can see these are the first eight measures. Okay, so we started off with a C, and we went to an F. You have those little walking sixes, those sixes that walk up. I'm going to play that C section again. This time we're walking down to D7, back to G. Okay, the next eight bars we go back to C. Okay, this is the last four bars of the A section. We're going to start off with the C and then do a series of chords with the descending bass line. So we have the C, and then we have this G minor slash B flat, and then an F slash A, and then the A flat, and finally the G6, and then back to G7, and back to C. So that whole section. play through that whole A section, the first 16 bars, twice, and then we transition into the B section. Let me play that once.
So uh, I think of this first uh, couple of bars of this B section as moving between two positions of C. I'm kind of walking, I'm walking up to a C in what really kind of looks to me like a C9, but I'm not actually playing a C9. And then back to a regular C chord. Regular first position C chord. Twice, and then we go from F to F minor, back to C. Walk back into the and we have this D chord here. Back to G. And walk back to C. F minor, C, and then these last four bars of this section uh, is a transition that we'll use to get both into the next C section and then the D section. So we do uh, do that again. So we have F, back to C, Diminish G C. When I play the play this live, it's going to be like I'm going to play the A section and the B section and the C section and the D section. But you could uh, play each section multiple times. Uh, let me play through the C section. So when we start off the C section, we're in F, then go to B flat. All right. D minor. There's a big leap there from a F sharp and a A to a G slash uh, A sharp. So we have. D sharp, uh, D minor, A minor, D minor, G, to C, A little run there I do, A little run I did there is over E diminished chord. chord again, B flat, D minor, and we go A minor to uh, C sharp 7, chromatic run down from F to D flat, okay. That's the entire C section. The D section starts with a C shaped F chord. So on the D section, we start off on F. We've got basically two different voicings of the F chord. Back to C. G. 
A diminished to F sharp diminished. C. Then we go back to F. C. F. Here's our tag ending. And then we're going to use a phrase from the uh, first A section. us out. Yeah, so that's the entertainer. Uh, four distinct sections, A, B, C, and D. Great phrases that lead from the section to section. Uh, you're using an alternating bass throughout, uh, but with a nice little break, some chromatic runs, some diminished chords that work really well. Um, uh, give it a go. Take it section by section. Take it slowly. It took me a long time to get this one down. I'm still trying to get it down. Um, and uh, have fun with it. Uh, so here's the entire piece of The Entertainer by Scott Joplin. <laughs>